Hi everyone, in this video we are gonna quickly uh, reorganize and clean up our scene before adding more assets and the environment elements. So as you can see when I zoom out, we have everything overlapping at the moment. The drawings we have to hide every single time we unhide the scene elements. Um, some very random, like literally random uh, collection names. Uh, as you can see, this random for some reason consists the stair elements. Um, the drawings are just, well, here as one of the main collections. So I would suggest creating a few new categories and making this scene a little bit more useful because once you start adding up things and it's gonna become a real mess and you're gonna lose a lot of time just trying to figure it out what's hidden where and how you can navigate through the assets quicker so first step i would suggest would be creating a more refined category so let's say the first one will be a building simply like that and this is where we are gonna uh, store all, all of the construction elements from our scene. The second category, uh, let it be furniture. And this is where we are gonna store all of the assets. And the third category, let's, let's call it helpers. And this is where we are gonna store all of the elements like drawings for example cameras etc so we can already move the drawings here and you can see this collection is now nested in this one and the whole layout becomes cleaner step by step so let's see what else we can add here perhaps we could start with the actual staircase so let's hide the helpers category and let's create a new collection and just call it staircase. And yeah, now we can start moving things around. So let's see, uh, this object we already have in the random category, we can just drag and drop it here and just delete this as we don't need it anymore. Let's hide the staircase category. So everything we move there, disappears from our viewport so let me select these elements the glass panel here the cellar stairs and by pressing the m key i can move them to the staircase collection like this also this element here and now i can move the staircase category to the building collection and it makes it much more logical in my opinion. We can disable it from, from the viewport so it's not uh, confusing us on which elements are already sorted out and which aren't. Um, let's see what else we can do. I would suggest creating a collection called, let's say, well, building or, but we already have a building so let's call it con construction and this is where we can store all of the key elements of our scene so let's for example select the walls and move them to the construction category let's select the floor slabs and do the same well I think we can also do it with detail uh, like this just let's recent the origin and I would do the same with the window frames. So let's select all of them and move to the construction category. Now I also move it back to the building here. Let's say we move it as a first one and let's hide it. Or maybe let's hide the main, the parent category like this. And we are left with much less things flying around the viewport right now. So the last touch at this point would be creating, let's say a windows or details. 
details, category, and moving the windows there. Let's hide it. Let's also select those little parts. And again, we are moving everything back. I mean, not back, but to the main category here. So what we are left right now with are the cameras. Again, we can create a new collection, call it cameras, move them accordingly, and then quickly nest it to the parent category. And we have furnishings left. So again, let's maybe divide it a little bit. Let's create, hmm, let's say kitchen category where we are gonna store the main meshes from our kitchen, just like that. Um, yeah, and let's create another category and call it accessories maybe. And this is where we are gonna store all of the objects we created in the previous videos. Again, let's hide it. And now let's move it all to the furniture main category, like this. So now everything is hidden. <laughs> so let's unhide maybe everything except of the helper object. And this way you can see we can uh, work around our scene much easier when something is missing, like with the window elements here, we can always unhide them. Uh, yeah, and I would say this is a good starting point to move towards adding the external assets. And to do that, we are going to use Choco4 Model Manager, which is available on the menu here. But in the next video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the manager as an add-on itself, how you can install it, and then how you can work with it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. This video is part of my interior visualization course in Blender, which you can watch for free on YouTube. All the necessary details and link to the full playlist can be found in the video description. If you want to support what I do and access all of the 3D files used in this course, plus Blender ready interior setups and over 2000 Blender exclusive 3D models, just visit the Chocofur store and learn more about our subscription plans. Again, thanks for watching and I see you soon.